Hi, in this learning bite for Windows Small Business Server 2011 standard, we'll take a look at managing updates. So as we can see in the SBS console, on the home page, we have a network essential summary, which basically gives us a quick overview of the health of our overall environment, including the security, updates, backup, and other alert status. We can see right away that we have a warning for our update status. And we can use this to jump quickly to the updates section. We can also find this in the security tab of the console. So this has two sub tabs, including the security sub tab, as well as the updates themselves. So here is where we can see more details and set the properties for managing updates in our environment. We can see the different updates organized into groups, including those that are pending approval, those updates which have experienced errors during the deployment, any optional updates that may be applicable to our environment, and then at the bottom, we can see the updates in progress. These are updates that apply to computers in our environment but haven't been installed yet. Down below in the details section, we can get some additional information about each one of these updates. Over on the tasks pane, we can view the update deployment report to see which computers this update needs to be installed on. So here we can see that for the server, the status is downloaded but not yet installed. And for client PCs, this update is not applicable. In the update tasks, we can go ahead and change the software update settings. This is broken up into four different areas, including the settings for server updates, which you can see can be one of high, medium, low, or none. And this controls which types of updates are automatically approved for installation. By default, servers are set to medium, so this is going to automatically approve security, critical, malware definition, and all SBS update rollups. If it were set to high, it would also include service packs. Client computer updates are controlled with their own settings. And as you can see, the default is set to high. So this is gonna automatically approve all security, critical, malware definitions, and service packs. But you can set that again as appropriate for your environment. Next, we have the schedule. This controls when the different computers in the environment have their updates installed. So by default, servers simply download the updates and then notify the administrator so that you can choose when to actually perform the installation, which may require a reboot. So this allows you to manually schedule that. Client PCs, on the other hand, have a default of installing the updates every day in the middle of the night. This helps to keep the client computers as up-to-date as possible so that user productivity isn't impacted due to problems with updates that need to be applied in order to keep the PC healthy or security issues that could severely impact not only the PC, but the entire network environment. Finally, we have a, a section where you can choose which computers are included in the updates. So by default, again, all servers and client PCs are going to be included, but you can choose to remove a specific computer so that you must manually manage its updates. This could be appropriate as an example for line of business computers that are used for a dedicated task. You may want to manage the updates for that special computer manually. So thank you for joining me for this Learning Byte, and I hope to see you for future sessions.